and now I'm going to show you a video about indicators. As you know, we have different kinds of indicators, okay? We talked about litmus paper, and we have the red one and the blue one. And remember, we talked about the universal paper indicator, which is yellow. And we also talked about the liquid universal indicator, okay? Now, what I'm going to show you also today, in addition to all those things, is what we call a pH meter. Now, a pH meter, see, tells you the exact pH, even to the decimal, okay? So, we are going to experiment on all of this, okay? So, what I have here are different kinds of, um, uh, what do you call these, uh, substances, okay? So, I'm going to put some of these over here. Okay, I'm going to put some of these over here. Okay. I'm going to put some of these over here. And I'm going to put some tap water. Favorite tap water. Okay. So, by using our indicators, we should be able to tell whether it's an acid, alkali, or neutral, okay? So let's start with uh, this one, okay? So the first one, I'm going to use red litmus paper. Oh, wow. The red litmus paper remained red. So can we assume that this is neutral because it didn't change color? What should I do? Yep, I need to test using the blue litmus paper. Okay, so let's check. Ah, the blue became red. So what would this be? If you said acid, you're right. Now, let's figure out by using the liquid universal indicator. Let me move this other things here. Okay. So, is it really an acid? Yes, it is, okay? Because the universal indicator turns pink, okay? And let's try. I forgot to try our yellow uh, paper universal indicator. And as you can see, it is pink. So, this one is sure to be an acid, okay? How about this one? Let's try. Okay, I have some blue paper indicator here, okay? I'm going to dip it remains blue. Again, can you assume that it's neutral? No, you need to try with the red indicate uh, in litmus paper. Boop. Okay, so let's check. Ah, it became blue. So this one tells you that it is an alkali, but does it tell you the pH value? No. So, we can try using the yellow paper indicator, okay? Ah, look at that. Really deep purple, okay? So I'm going to put some of our universal indicator in it, okay? So you can see it turned dark purple as well, okay? Now let's try this one. Again, let me get some, oops, blue indicator paper. Okay, so let's see. Oops, remain the same. Of course, you cannot assume that it's neutral until you test it with the red litmus paper. Okay. Oh, it's still the same. So, see in this one, both the red and the blue remain the same. So, we can assume that it's neutral. Let's try with the yellow indicator paper. Okay, so you can see it's turning green. So let's do this one. Okay. Oh, now what do you see here? It actually didn't turn green. Even though this one turned green, this one remained the same, this one remained the same, when we use the liquid indicator, turn kind of yellowish. So we're saying that this one is probably 
slightly acidic. So let's try this one. Use again the blue. Okay, the blue remained the same. So let's try the red one. Okay. Red one remained the same. Let's try the yellow one. Okay. Yellow one turned green again. So universal indicator paper turned green again. But this one, for this one, turned green too. So what's the problem? We need to be more certain. So I'm going to use our universal indicator. Okay. Now, look at that. Let me put a little bit more. Okay. As you can see, when I put the liquid, the universal indicator, it turned green. Okay. So pretty much you can say, you can, you know, it's pretty accurate. The litmus paper just tells us whether it's acidic, alkali, or neutral. The yellow universal indicator paper tells us what pH value, but not very accurate, okay? As you can see here, this two, the litmus paper and the universal indicator paper said it was neutral, but look at the different colors. But what would be the most reliable one would be using our pH meter, okay? So let's try. Now every time we use the pH meter, we need to rinse the tip, okay? We need to make sure that it's clean all the time, okay? Now what do I use to clean it? I use distilled water. Why distilled water? You should be able to answer that. I won't tell you why, okay? So let's test this one if it's really pH 1, okay? So I dip it, okay? And this is what the indicator says, okay? So dip it. Oh, uh, you can't see it really, but there it is. 1.7, okay? So this red, uh, this pink thing, is not really pH 1, but it's 1.7, okay? So let me rinse this with distilled water again. I want you to think why we need to use distilled water. Why do we need to use distilled water? And let me put this aside. Let me put that aside so that you can see, okay? I'm going to test the blue one. And what does it say? Ooh, wow. 12.1. So this is a pretty strong alkali 12.1 okay so again let me rinse now this is the really good test what is the pH of these two liquids that measure neutral okay I am rinsing the head of the probe to make sure it's really really clean of any stuff okay so I'm going to test this one. Okay, it's getting there. Six point seven, six point eight. Okay, 6.8, 6.9, and are you going to 7? Okay, so this one is closer to being neutral, okay, than this other one. Let me just rinse my, my probe, and I want to test the other one just to be sure. Okay, so, okay, see that? This is slightly acidic at 6.6, .6, okay? Slightly acidic at 6.6, .6, and this one is very close at 6.9 to being neutral. So, out of all of this, let me tell you, this one was hydrochloric 0.1 mole. This was sodium hydroxide 0.1 mole. This was actually distilled water, Watson's, okay? Slightly acidic, 6.6. .6. 
and this one was tap water okay which is closer to being neutral at 6.9 now let me just show you the different uh, okay the different indicators that we have so I hope that this helps you understand more of uh, the different kinds of um, different kinds of indicators and the different kinds of uh, uh, ways that we we can test for the value so of the four red litmus paper blue litmus paper yellow paper indicator uh, and liquid universal indicator which one do you think is the most accurate now after you've chosen from those four which one is more accurate using any of the four there or using the pH meter okay think about that bye bye Ooh, and if you have any questions you know where to find me or you can send me an email bye bye